I can't believe what I'm seeing peeking out of this box here. It's a green acrylic seashell toilet seat. I feel like George the Antique Nomad is going to pop out from behind a rack and say, see, I told you you'd find one. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. I'm driving up to Goodwill and it's the end of November, 72 degrees and I had to show you our palm trees and mountains and gorgeous, gorgeous blue sky only in Las Vegas. It's a Tuesday and I've got an hour or so before I have to pick up the kids from school. I don't normally come on a Tuesday, but I'm hoping there might be some good things only because they're preparing for their Wednesday senior 40% off. So let's remember to look through the window and see what the color of the day is. Color of the day is always 50% off. It looks like it's orange. Let's go in and see what they have. Let's grab a cart. Here we go. Oh, that one's stuck. <laughs> that one's stuck too. <laughs> oh, I got it. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I am going to give you my usual update as we make our way back to the hard goods section. Our house um, is coming along. We have contractors. We have a meeting on Monday morning with the designer who selects um, or helps us select our materials and helps us get the best price on our materials. So that is exciting. We also have a big surprise, and here he is. <laughs> Chris surprised me and the kids with a trip to uh, Arizona on Sunday to go see this guy. I have included footage at the end of the video. He is adorable. Um, I'll tell you more at the end of the video. Here we are in the hard goods section. The shelves look really full. So art glass dolphin. He's really not very good quality though. He's got a barcode on the bottom. He's $3.99. I'm going to leave him. It's a sweet little bunny with a flower on her head. And it looks like somebody donated their entire bear collection up here. Oh, I see another piece of art glass down here, and this one I like. Look how sweet this little seahorse is. <laughs> what a lovely face. $2.99. Let's get her in the cart. There's a bird here. Carved wood, but his beak is broken, and he's a souvenir piece from Jamaica. So baggies down there with candles and fruit. Oh, these are interesting candle holders. Put the seahorse in the cart and have a look at this one. It has a Fitz and Floyd. Yeah, Fitz and Floyd look to it. Can't get that to focus. But... Uh, not really sure about this one. It's not in the best shape, so I'm going to leave that for now. There's a plush turkey here. Sadly, Thanksgiving is past. Otherwise, I might have grabbed that. Lots of snow globes in not so good condition. The water tends to get cloudy and murky which is a shame. Having a look in the candle section. That 
Cat the Nurse Flipper and Jocelyn Crazy Lamp Lady and Dagny uh, Flying Pig Thrifts and Justin the Bearded Thrifter were talking last night about Glassy Baby and um, how um, amazing the profit margin is on those candle holders at the moment. So I have still not found any glassy baby myself. It's on my bucket list. Definitely keeping an eye out. It's very well marked uh, on the bottom. So you definitely know when you've found a piece. This looks like a quite nice cake slice. But it's, I thought it might be Lennox, but it's not. Going back for another look at this candle holder. I'm going to pop it in the cart and see what it's worth. I'm going to look it up on eBay solds and uh, see if it's worth looking up. This is a Ray Dunn piece. Again, I'm going to look this up quickly to see what the profit margin is on that with eBay solds. Checking these candlesticks, not very good quality, so I'm going to leave both sets of those. Some of these glass flowers are worth picking up. This one isn't very good quality at all. I'm just not a fan of that, so I'm going to leave it. into the clear glass. As usual, the shelves are quite full. It's definitely worth looking through for Waterford, Orifors, Baccarat. You just never know what's going to be hiding. This one has an Orifors look but I don't see a marking on there which is critical for a good profit. I am going to pop that in the cart though and put my glasses on see if I can find any marks on it. Making our way to the Easter section. This seems to be the section for the uh, holidays that aren't current. They've got a little bit of Easter, Valentine's Day, Halloween. What's in this box here? Crane is paper, that's right, yep. Nice quality thank you notes. Check this leaf. Not for food use. more Easter stuff. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand nice. corner of your screen. This is a massive pink and white egg for $5. Not really a fan of the way it comes up to a point there though. little silver plated spoon these just don't sell for much unfortunately let's go around the corner into the main Christmas aisle lots of stuff here Many things look familiar. Hopefully we will find some new items as well. It's a very patriotic teddy bear. Not a well-selling brand. Lots of cards. Decorations. 
really heavy candle holder this doesn't appear to be marked so I'll leave that this is an interesting bag of ornaments I see crunch and little reindeer here razzles candy name brand candy ornaments are always worth picking up the bag is $7.99 but still I know I can make my money back on those candy themed ornaments there's also a coca-cola cap in there so I'm going to pick this one up and keep going all sorts of stuff here some metal la a candle shade little Christmas cookie cutter sets for $2.99 Jake was actually asking me if we could make honeycomb cookies that required little cutters like that so I think I'm going to pick up a set of these for him they seem to have quite a few those are too big so I'm going to pick up this set of small ones it's perfect Here we are in the plates and the mugs and the bowls. All the seasonal ones. I know I always say this, but if you need holiday plates for the season, Goodwill always has different sets for a great price. Ooh, look at these guys. <laughs> M&Ms for two dollars. They're huge ornaments. Red has skis and yellow has <laughs> Christmas lights. <laughs> Look at that face. How fun. I'll take those. I love the colors in this little woven trinket box. It's 99 cents, but I just don't anticipate making enough profit on it to make it worthwhile. So I'll leave it for someone else. Some nice white salt and peppers. They're not marked. Ooh, this looks promising. Look at these two. There's a Santa in a chimney and a little elf with a French horn, I think it is. I'm not very good with musical instruments. They're very vintage, made in Japan. Definitely going to pick those up. Here we are in the vases, and I just noticed this gorgeous stoneware pitcher. It's quite heavy. It looks like someone's used it as a planter for flowers. Signed on the bottom really love how that handle is uh, wavy like that let's pop it in the cart and see what else they have this is a vintage amber vase for $5.99 oh actually it's three dollars because orange is half off it's quite an interesting shape I think I've looked at that one before. <coughs> That's very lightweight. Set of red vases there. 
Lots of clear. Oh, there's some silver ones up there. Nothing is jumping out at me. Here we are in the metals. This looks like it could be Nambi. Five ninety nine. Sadly, it is not. This is quite a fun shell. Sonoma. Lots of racks and pots and holders in the metals. Candle holders. Sconces. Lamp shades. Oh, there's a matching one. This is pumpkins. Matching one down here. There we go. Put the friends together. Just checking out the top shelf. Whoops. I nearly garroted myself. These metal plates. Ooh, there's a bag of grapes there. So many metal holders. We have all sorts of candles. <laughs> Some miscellaneous tins. Christmas picks here. Here we are in the mugs. I rarely find anything these days, but I always have to check. Sometimes I'll get an anthropology or a crate and barrel or a really good Starbucks. They're all lined up in sets today, which is nice. You can see exactly what they have.
Here we are in the kitcheny bits, the bowls, the jars, the cruets, lots and lots. Please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video. I show you everything I bought, tell you what I paid and what I expect to get for it. This has the look of American Brilliant, but sadly it is not. And this looks like a recycled glass tray, but it's Bed Bath & Beyond. Always worth checking though, because you never know. These blue margarita glasses are still here. The cherry pie plate. Lots of bakers. This is old, probably Fire King. This is a Temptations piece. Let's see. Oh, it's got a crack in it. That's a shame. I'll have to leave that. And what else? Lots of cups here. Ice cream sundae bar. Uh, glasses, a salt and pepper shaker. Almost a whole set there. Jugs and carafes. That's quite pretty. But it's really lightweight. I think that's a really big mug. Sun tea jar, biscotti jars. Ooh, this is one of the nesting mixing bowls in a Gibson set. I have the small bowls. I use them for ice cream and cereal. So I'm going to grab that. This looks like a bread warmer. You heat it up and pop it in your bread basket. And it keeps your bread warm. Popcorn. This little tart dish is still here. It's only a dollar fifty today. It's lovely, but I just don't need it. And uh, as far as listing it, it just doesn't make a profit. do see something back here though. This looks like California pottery. Looks to be in great condition. It's orange tag. Look at that Bauer pottery for a dollar fifty. Bauer pottery, Los Angeles pottery. That's a good find. All sorts of pots and pans. Lids. Posters there. Cute little mouse shaker. This is Salt and Pepper set by Laurie Gates. Let's put them together there. They're really cute, hand painted with flowers. 
They're a dollar ninety nine each, but sadly they just don't make a profit. I've sold the cheese shaker before. So many different things to look at. Oh, look at this metal piece down here. I'm looking for Wendell August Forge. I think it just says designed aluminium. Yep, it does look hammered, but not brand name. a fun looking spice rack and a grilling topper auto measure carousel more cooking pots and kettles Travel tumblers, In and Out Burger cookie cutter set for four dollars. They're worth about twelve, incidentally. It's a Starbucks travel tumbler. Look at that! It's magic, and it's also ten dollars. That's right about retail. Pasta machine for use with polymer clays. That's for crafting. I can't believe what I'm seeing peeking out of this box here. It's a green acrylic seashell toilet seat. I feel like George the Antique Nomad is going to pop out from behind a rack and say, see, I told you you'd find one. <laughs> it's not vintage. It's resin, acrylic, lucite, whatever you want to call it. But I found one. Let's have a look in the plates to see what they have. That's quite a pretty divided platter. Sadly, the gold's wearing off. This is quite a pretty dish. It's a peacock feather, it says imagine. It would be a nightmare to ship though. Stoke-on-Trent, England for $4. That's lovely, but I'm going to leave it for someone else. Nice sunflowers. And that's chipped. All sorts of designs and shapes and sizes. Up here, one ones are still there. Really like this plate. New core, it's vintage. Oh, look at this picture. It's glass, but oh my goodness, that's a massive crack. Do you see that? Looks like it's silver overlaid, but 
goodness, I'm going to tell one of the ladies here. That's quite dangerous. I'm in the wood aisle with the baskets and I just spotted an iron wood quail. Look at this guy. Oh no, his beak is broken. That is such a shame. He's gorgeous. Look at the smooth finished upper and then the crude lower. $3.99. But I'm going to have to leave him. All sorts of boxes, signs. Plaques and frames. Shelves. So little bear piece of art. Nut dish. It's another one of those plates that almost fell on me down there. It's quite a nice jewelry box, etched glass. It's not very heavy though. Wicker, trays. This is quite a nice woven basket. People um, are trending to put these on the wall. Several of them together grouped look quite nice. This is a little Robert Kincaid box. I wonder if there was a puzzle in there or something. It's empty now. Oh, there's more there. I think they're nesting boxes. Now we're moving into the plastics. I just love the bright colors. Let's have a quick walk down here just to see. It's quite a fun honeycomb ice cube tray. Oh, I wish this was glass. Looks like Viking, but it's plastic. I was just taking my second lap around the store and found this Godinger Hershey Kiss trinket box. These are really, really popular and they sell very quickly. They're lovely. They just brought out a new cart. I'm seeing up at the top here some Scooby-Doo. Let's see what it is. It's the mystery machine. This one's quite modern, I think. It has lights and sounds, but you know what? I'm going to put it in the cart and just check to see what they're selling for. It's only $3.99. Bushnell makes binoculars, $5.99. Let's see, they are in here. They look to be in really nice condition. The glass is there, they're clean, but I am going to hold them up and look all the way over to the other side of the store to make sure they're working. That seems to be a great find. Let's put them in the cart. The spot in the corner there. There we go. And I've spotted 
something up here. Mini travel poker. It's quite high, so I'm having to stretch. Sorry about the basket in your view there. Let's see what else they have just while I'm in here. World Series of Poker. That's a really good brand, so we'll take that. Let's pop around here and see if it's got distracted by this lamp here. But that's a modern piece. See if we can peek up in here. Harry Potter, build your own adventure. I'm not sure about that, but I'm going to look it up. I can't believe I looked down here and found these two. These are by John Bezek and Royal Dalton of England. Beatrix Potter figurines. There's Mrs. Tittlemouse and uh, Johnny Townmouse here. These are a fantastic find. Just taking a stroll through the art before I go. Looking for anything vintage, anything original that I like. Old frames. Most of this is modern. Just saw something back here that has a lot of damage and not original. Let's see. Nothing today. Let's keep going through the furniture. And we'll make our way through and just check out the little Christmas display they have up front. Let's see what they have here. Just a few shelves right at the front with some Christmas bits on them. Some snowman pillows. Tins. Oh, look at this bag. I spot Disney, Mini, Mini's box lunches, 15 cents. I'm also seeing a little flocked ornament, little penguin. Let's see what's in this one. These two aren't as exciting. Ooh, these are nice. I like these gems to fill in the little gaps on my Christmas tree. Red and clear. So I'll take those. Here at the top of my stairs, we have everything I found at Goodwill. And Ziggy and Bandit have found a box. <laughs> Hi, Bandit. Hi. He's very comfortable. Boxes and blankets are his favorite things. Hi, Ziggy. Do you want to be on camera today? He says, I'm just going to walk through the stuff. <laughs> Hi, 
I couldn't resist this bag of grapes. They were orange tag, half off, $2.50. I love to decorate with those. Really a great deal. These are two plush large M&M ornaments. There's yellow and red. I paid $1.99 a piece for them and I value them at $15 each. This is the sweetest little seahorse you've ever seen. He's a little piece of art glass. I paid $2.99 for him and I value him at $20. These two were probably my best find of the day. They are little Beatrix Potter figurines by John Bezick and Royal Dalton. This one is little Mrs. Tittlemouse. She is valued at $50. And this guy is Johnny Town Mouse. And he is even more valuable at about $60. I love the finish and color on this picture. It's a gorgeous blue with natural pottery. The handle is sort of folded and it's glazed inside. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it at $35 to $40. I got these two items at the back here from a brand new cart that came out World of Poker series or World Series of Poker mini travel poker set. I paid, let's see, I believe $5.99, $4.99 for it, and I value it at $40. I found a pair of Sport View Bushnell binoculars. And these I value at $40 to $50. I couldn't believe it when I saw this green acrylic seahorse sea life toilet seat. <laughs> this has been on my bucket list. It's not vintage. It's not lucite. It's a more modern piece, but I do value it right about $50. I picked up this gorgeous silk bouquet of flowers. I can just pop it right in a vase for $2.99. And that's going to go in our new house. This was an amazing find also. This is a vintage piece of Bauer pottery. It's Bauer Los Angeles. And if you can see the mark there. There we go. It was on orange tag sale, just a dollar fifty. I haven't been e able to find one online uh, online just like it. So I plan to put it on auction and I expect it to go upwards of $50. This is part of a nesting set of three. I do have three of the small size, which I use for cereal and ice cream. This was a steal at $3.99. I value it about $20. It is extremely heavy though. <laughs> so shipping would be uh, just about as much as the bowl itself. This is a Godinger little trinket box. 
it's a Hershey's Kiss. These are really, really popular. I expect it to sell it very quickly. I paid $2.99 and I value it at $20. My son Jake has been making these honeycomb cookies and he likes to put a little design in the top. So I thought these 12 piece cutters would be perfect for him to make his cookies. I paid $2.99. I bought three bags full of Christmas ornaments. I venture to say that the most valuable piece is going to be this Minnie's Box Lunches. It's a Disney Store ornament. Little snow globe with hearts. Very sweet. There's also a Sacramento Kings. A little flocked bear. Elf. This bag also had a little elf in a stocking and Santa in the chimney for $1.99. This bag is full of goodies. We have Baskin Robbins Bear, Nestle Crunch, and Razzle ornaments that are ready to fill with candy. A Coca-Cola cap. And various characters here. There's a little McDonald's apple pie. The cat in the hat. There's Rudolph. There's Bugs Bunny as Carmen Miranda. Cute little snowman with beaded legs. Another larger snowman. I think that this is Hannah Montana, possibly. And we have a little ho 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 sign. And lastly, a snowboarding snowman. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, the introduction to our new pup, and the haul. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com and I'll see you next time. Bye! While we're shopping, if you see me put something in my cart and then it doesn't appear in the haul, chances are I decided not to get it because I couldn't make enough of a profit or I realized it was damaged. Today, the Fitz and Floyd candle holder was chipped and the lovely checkout lady noticed it for me at checkout, so I decided to leave it on the shelf. There is a black German Shepherd. He's currently just about four weeks old. When he's 10 weeks, he will be coming home to our new house to live with us. Oh, don't, don't grab it. Let him drop it in your lap. Now he can grab it.